Uh, Mr. Pella is a member of the football family, and we want to treat every member of our football family with respect. Uh, Mr. Pelayo, yes, uh, the, he was an agenda item on our um, for today's meeting, but uh, we removed that from the agenda. Is because you know uh, we want to we want to give Mr. Pelayo the opportunity to submit his resignation, which he has indicated that he will submit that um, resignation, and so uh, we the, for that reason we move the item from the agenda. No, sir, we remain to understand that that uh, criminal conviction in the U.S. is what made him ineligible to continue as a executive member. Is that indeed accurate? Uh, certainly, and, and, and that has always been a part of the uh, Federation's uh, guideline for any executive member. If you have been, whether it be international or nationally, if you have been criminally charged, then uh, you cannot serve on the uh, football, on the executive of the Football Federation of Belize. Yes, that is true. What is happening with this timeline of his orderly departure from the FFB? Well, we we are waiting for for his resignation, and uh, when that when that comes around, then the executive will move on from it and make an announcement. Sir, what will happen up with his replacement? How will that process take place? Well, we, um, the federation will have to call an extraordinary congress uh, to for for an election, or the executive can recommend that uh, someone replace him uh, in the interim. Sir, in um, reference to the documents, uh, I believe that um, that Mr. Pelayo had with with him when he was nabbed in the U.S. Uh, any update on that? Have you guys received any of those? Um, you know, since Mr. Pelayo has returned, you know what? what no, no, uh, I have not had any meeting with, with Mr. Pelayo, and I've been out of the country most of the time, and so we will be meeting with him. And uh, as soon as we get those documents, whether we get them or not. Uh, we will produce that uh, financial report that is uh, that we are required to uh, submit and uh, that we have the obligation to uh, submit to the public.